of the Lord in my life. Amen, amen. Praise God. At this time, amen, I'm going to ask Sister Rashanta to come forward. Amen. Any of her staff that she's going to have today. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We want to take a few moments to minister to our children this morning. Amen. Our children's ministry. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I want to take a moment. We're gonna we, today. We're going to present to our little ones their Bibles. Amen. Amen. How many know the word of the Lord is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path? Amen. Amen. I want to read to you passage of scripture. Amen. I want the children to listen to me closely. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Deuteronomy chapter 6. This is the Lord God talking to his people about the importance of the word of God. Verse 1 reads, Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you, that ye might do them in the land whether ye go to possess it that thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and commandments, which I command thee, thou and thy son, and thy son's son, all the days of thy life, and that, the, and that thy days may be prolonged. So the first thing we see that the word of God gives you long life. Amen. When you keep the word of God, it gives you long life, prolonged life. Verse 3, hear, hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily, as the Lord God thy fathers have promised thee, in the land that floweth with milk and honey. So not only does the word of God give you prolonged life, it brings prosperity into your life. Amen. You are not to beg, not to borrow, not to steal but to obey the word of God, and the word of God will bring prosperity into your life. Verse 4, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thy house. And when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house and on the gates. And it shall be when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land, he swear unto the fathers to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them great and goodly cities which thou buildest not, and houses full of good things which thou fillest not, and wells digged which thou diggest not, and vineyards and olive trees which thou plantest not, which thou shalt have eaten and be full. Then beware lest thou forget the Lord which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Now the word of God teaches us that from a young child, if you will embrace the word, embrace the Bible, listen to your teachers, listen to your parents as it relates to the word of God, then you're going to get some benefits from that. Now, other people might not understand why you are, how you are, why you are, the way you are, and why you go to church, and why you carry your Bible, and why you read your Bible, but you understand. Say, I understand. I understand that the word of God is going to bring into my life prosperity. Houses I didn't build, vineyards I didn't build. In other words, the prosperity of the Lord will be on your life. And God will bless you, bless your life, cause you not to go astray. Our children won't be on drugs. Our children won't be addicted to alcohol. Our children will be raised up in the admonition of the Lord. Is that right? And for that, God promises us to bless us. I don't know what your goals and your dreams are today, but whatever they are, if you keep the word of God close to you, if you'll obey your parents, obey your teachers, your leaders, 
then there's a blessing that comes along with that. Temptation will come to go astray. Temptation will come to do what others do. Mischievousness will rise up. But in the midst of all that comes your way, our prayers are with you today that the Lord will keep you. Amen. Until you come into the place of your prosperity. Amen. Come on, clap your hands and give God a praise for these little ones today, these young folk. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now I'm going to give the mic to you. And you can take over from here. Praise the Lord, church. Okay. Um, I didn't know I was going to have a mic this morning. Let me see. Uh, well, from the children's ministry, the leaders of the children's ministry, to you guys, we're giving you guys Bibles today. You want to be responsible. You're going to take that Bible everywhere you go. You're going to bring it to church every Sunday. Uh, we're going to expect you to have it. We're going to expect you to read it. We're going to give you things to read. So it's going to be your responsibility to keep up with it, guys, okay? All right. Um, well, all the girls, just the um, teenage girls. All the teenage girls, y'all can come on up. Oh, and also, come on. All the boys, y'all can come on up and get your Bibles. the babies. That's all. 